breaking news. That breaking news out of Claremont County on this Friday, a Monroe Township man is accused of killing his three sons who rage, ranged in age from three to seven. We appreciate you being with us. I'm Kelly Rippin. And I'm Stephen Albritton. It all happened yesterday evening at a home on Laurel Lindale Road. We have team coverage on the emotional response to the tragedy from the community, and we should warn you that as more comes out about this case, it is getting harder to hear. We want to get to WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick, who is live at the courthouse for us, where just devastating details, Brian, of the killings were revealed. Yeah, Kelly, three children shot to death. We are told today execution style in front of their own mother, and the person accused is their father. Prosecutors used words like monstrous, unspeakable, to try and describe this crime. Uh, they say they couldn't name a person who was more dangerous in the community than this defendant. The defendant is Chad Dorman. He faced a judge and the reality of his crimes today as an arraignment on aggravated murder charges today. He appeared emotional for the entire hearing. He was dressed in a bulletproof vest. Dorman is accused of executing his children ages three four and seven. Prosecutors say they have a full confession from Dorman. We also learned this. Prosecutors claim this wasn't a haphazard act, but that the murders had been planned. The children's mother was shot in the hand in the course of the murders as the children's were apparently shot right in front of her. Prosecutors are saying this is the most heinous crime they have ever seen and described what happened. But the evil horror of what we know is impossible to process. In an act of just incomprehensible cruelty, the father that stands before you lined up his three young boys and he executed them in his own home with a rifle. They were ages three, four, and seven, Judge. In an act of desperation to save her children, the mother at some point grabbed the gun the father was wielding to attempt to protect them. We know that one of the boys was able to flee into a field near the home. And again, we know from his admission, father hunted that boy down, drug him back to the property, and executed him in front of witnesses. The mother was shot through the hand in her attempt to protect her children. Judge, I asked the court in setting this bond to just begin to imagine their fear. Yeah, now the defense asked for a $75,000 bond, citing that he was employed 32 years old and he had co-signers, and they also said that he was married using that as one of the reasons why he should get bond. Meanwhile, the prosecutors asked for the highest bond they say they have ever asked for in a case, $20 million, and the judge, A.C. Nagel, uh, granted that. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, was there any motive given? Obviously, this was a lot to process. Yeah, well, we ask about motive. Why could anyone possibly do this? Uh, prosecutors would not answer questions about motive, uh, but we did learn that uh, what they said that this was planned. That came out today. This wasn't something he did spur of the moment, but they say that he admitted he had planned this for some time. We also learned, uh, Kelly, that there was a domestic violence charge against Dorman in 2010. Kelly? Brian Hamrick, a very tough story to report on for us, but we appreciate the updates, Brian.